Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 59. I don't know if I could read a couple more. It really depends. It's currently 6 a.m. and uh, my baby usually wakes up around 8. So if it wakes up earlier, I probably have to end it. So you guys will know because the title of this video will be up there from episode 59 to whatever. So anyways. Let's go ahead and get started. So where we last left off was where Parashati found out or received news from her uncle that, hey, maybe your dad did not pass away due to his illness, but maybe your stepmom had a hand in it. And she honestly, Parashati fell to the ground and was in shock, right? Just hurting. And now we see the Grand Duke walking in just appalled, like, what's going on? So, all right. Uh, my in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 59. Oh, also, I'm very tired. <laughs> it's six in the morning, so my face are, is super puffy. So that's why my cameras are off. Why don't you go get some rest? You look like you could use it. It's fine. Please tell me. Uh, our blood is no longer effective when it solidifies. Fires would be have found it hard to perfectly maintain a storage facility. So they probably used a poison as soon as they bought it. Even though Gen had been selling our blood, more was thrown away. The price was high, of course, but there were fewer of buyers than we thought because of how it was has to be stored. And what you're holding is a sales ledger. Those documents next to you includes information on the buyers and their associates. We looked into what happened to the buyer's enemies and families after purchasing the blood. It turns out most of them died suddenly within a few days. However, including the day you said you came back to life. From early spring to the day when cherry blossoms were in full bloom. Those who died in that stretch were either killed from other types of poison, like the assassin from the parade, or murdered. They all showed signs of foul play. That's, that sucks. But that book can't tell us which poison they bought. Oh. She bought the blood around the time my dad passed away. So she really did kill him. If I hadn't left the countdown, she would have bought the blood once more. For the first time since, getting married as if I was running away, I've gone back to my senses. The past where I died didn't repeat itself because I came back in time. And so I gave up on holding my stepmother accountable for a crime she did not commit. Shift did try to harm me, but I thought she'd be different. I couldn't fully trust her, nor despise her and now it has all come to this had I not come to the Grand Dukedom my name would have been on that list of victims from early spring to the day when cherry blossoms were in full bloom if that period of exceptions lasted a little longer would my father have made it back too Oh, that's so sad. It's like a, sitting there and just wondering this whole what if situation. Like what if things were to be different? Would this person I love so much come back? Like that would drive you mad. Wait, very shoddy. Huh? She, oh, she slapped him. Uh, 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 
Relax. I'll help you. This is my business. No, it's beyond you now. That's true. I mean, what can she do? Knowing all this, like she can't, what she, she's going to march into where her stepmother is and what? Choke her? Like, no, she can't. A few days ago, our informant told us that the Countess Zahart had, was getting ready to file a lawsuit regarding the inheritance. Uh, yes, we tried to respond to it immediately, but Her Grace must postponed the decision for the time being. But it turns out the Countess killed the Count? And then she tried to get money from Her Grace? How despicable. Unbelievable. So that's why her grace seemed so unwell. And if her father had been killed by this family's blood. Uh, I knew you would cause a fuss. So I'm telling you this now. Be mindful not to screw up here. I'm sorry for making you come here so often. It's part of my job, your grace. I've... I've organized all the measures we could take for now, just as you asked. So, what would you, what would you like to do? Uh -uh. <gasps> my lady, my lady! Uh, what is it? The knights from the Imperial Palace. Oh, oh, did the princess send you here? Count Zahard. You are under arrest for the murder of Count Zahard. Please, come with us. Uh -uh. I cannot tell from that look if, like, she is guilty, or she's shocked, or she's surprised. Like, what is this? Look at this face. She's just like, oh, oh, okay, nonchalant. Not even a goodbye? Why such haste? Tell me about it. Uh, why on earth did the princess bring her in as her lady-in-waiting? What should I do? This is bad. Uh, is... <gasps> is the princess inside? My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 20. I mean 60. My goodness, I am tired. Hold on, let me take a sip of my coffee. Episode 60. Did you hear what about what happened to Countess Sard? She was apprehended for murdering her husband. The official trial will begin in three weeks. But is it true she killed him? Come to think of it, she became Countess when she remarried the Count after her first husband died. Don't tell me he too was. Well, we'll never know. And please, one should not, shouldn't accuse her without any grounds. Her first husband killed himself after his family name had fallen. He's right. And the former Count Zahart was ill for a long time to begin with. But it's been a while since former Count passed, so why is this being brought up now? There was a rumor about a miscarriage a few months ago. Perhaps that has something to do with it. I hear the Grand Duchess began to avoid the Countess around the time she was getting married. It seems that family has a long story we don't know about. Anyways, it's been a while since a noble was brought to trial. It's got everyone's full attention. And the representative who pressed charges in a vassal of the Grand Dukedom, I hear. I think the Grand Countess is at odds here. <laughs> I've never seen the Lapillians get involved in anything like this. The Grand Duchess truly is quite something, isn't she? <laughs> She's almost on par with an Imperial princess. 
the truth will be revealed through the trial. We ought not to speak of anything we might regret. Oh, sipping that tea like damn. Oh. This is uh, Parashati's friend, right? I expect no less from a trial led by the Imperial family. It's small, but definitely well organized. Judge, high priest, jury, prosecutor, attorney. I totally forgot that people back then wore wigs to court. And I wonder why, like who came up with that idea and what's the purpose of it? This trial is a result of the conflict between a stepmother and stepdaughter. It's perfect gossip material for nobles. Now that observing the trial is prohibited, everyone is even more interested. Not to mention, that outfit would definitely draw too much attention. What is she thinking? Why is she dressed like that? I never thought my sister would backstab us this way. She dressed as a little girl, is what she's trying to say. It's fortunate that there are no observers here. My mom's going to be all right, right? Please fret not. The jurors were selected from among nobles who are not at all related to the Grand Dukedom or the Imperial family. I already know that, but still, we're against the Grand Duke here. What if she's found guilty? You and your mother are protected by the princess, so I assure you, we won't lose that easily. Uh -uh. And it's not like they have evidence against your mother. Uh. Uh. Oh. Stone cold. Uh -huh. Oh, I just hate how she goes from like crying and innocent poor me to like this evil space. Like this ugh, it's scary. It's so scary. Especially in real life if you, if you meet someone like that. Oh my goodness. Lillian Zahart. The defendant has been accused of murdering Count Lawin Zahart. Your Honor, the former Comtas is claiming innocence. However, according to the witnesses, her whereabouts on the night in question looks suspicious for a good reason. And it was none other than she who brought medicine to the former Count each night. On the day of the incident, she sent the servant away and began arguing with the Count. Please refer to the servant's statement we have provided. Would the defendant please proceed with the cross-examination? Lord Zahart, to the Countess of the Parashati Zahart, press charges because she believed the words of a commoner? That servant had been living in the Zahart residence since childhood. He was the closest to my brother. I can vouch for him. But Lord Zahart, the Countess has also devoted her life in that residence. She even raised a child who wasn't her own. So why can't you trust her? Even though there were some rough patches, that itself cannot prove that she murdered her husband. And it can't prove her innocence either. No more questions, Your Honor. The counsel calls on the next witness. Raise your right hand and swear on the holy book. I swear to say the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Ooh. I've been working as a family doctor of the countdom for about 17 years. What was the cause of death of the former count? And why do you think it happened? He passed away from his illness. He felt pain in his chest and that's not out of the ordinary. It is indeed unfortunate that the former count passed away but I couldn't find any signs of foul play. The prosecutor just accused the countess for using poison, but if that was the case, I would have known instantly. The former count would have found it more difficult to endure the illness any longer as he had been suffering for a long time already. 
Hmm. Good. It's working. Something tells me the judge is reacting in our favor. He's definitely on our side. The doctor's on our side, too. They'll free mom in no time. Uh, you wish to accuse the Countess of murder? You're right. We cannot sit by and do nothing. With the help of the Grand Duke's name, we might even make it to trial. But mere suspicions won't be enough to punish her. You should know better. And if things go wrong, your father's servant might end up taking the blame for everything. We must find evidence that convincing, that's convincing enough. Or do you already have an idea, Parashani? Two weeks before the trial, the Lapillion's Mansion. Alright guys, uh, looks like I need to t take a pause here. So if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!